Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to have a look at how to restore an old radiator. Okay, so I'm doing some DIY in the house and I thought I would try out some new paint from Johnson's, which is their specialist range. This is the Johnson's Radiator Paint. Uh, this, unlike some of the older radiator paints, is a water-based solution, so it's going to dry a lot quicker uh, and hopefully it's going to be a nice finish, but without waiting for ages for it to dry. This is a high-performance paint which has been specially formulated to go onto radiators and uh, central heating pipes, and it's designed to be non-yellowing but no doubt we won't find that out until a few months time. So to prepare for using this, read the instructions. Okay, so it's the usual instructions. Basically, make sure everything's clean, dry, and no dirt. If there's any rust or debris, get rid of it with a wire brush. Hence why I've had the DeWalt multi-tool out, which I've used a 240 grit paper to get rid of the rusty edges around the radiator at the bottom, and then finish it off with a nice 80 grit to give it a smoother finish. It also states when using radiator paint on either fresh or bare metal to use a primer. So being that I'm using Johnson's radiator paint, I thought I'd go with Johnson's Any Surface Primer. This primer can be used on any surface, as it says, any surface. So wood, glass, plastic, metal, you name it, it'll go on it, no problem at all. You can even use this on ceramic tiles and things like that. It does really stick to any surface, again, but all they say is, to make sure that the surface is prepared. So if it's a, um, a new or fresh surface, ideally with a light key on it. So if you've got some wet and dry paper or sander, go over it lightly with a 60 grit or less paper just to give it a slight key to adhere to. So that's the paints introduced. Let's look at what we've been doing. Okay, so looking a bit closer at the radiator, you can see the bottom here, we're back to the bare metal, uh, getting it nice and prepared and all the rusty edges pretty much have gone. There's a little bit there, but I don't think you have to be overly uh, crazy about getting a, a bare metal finish on it as long as any loose bits are removed. So the next thing to do now is to get a brush and start using a bit of primer. So here's the primer, it's uh, quite a, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's quite a, a runny paint, very much like old glosses used to be before they went water-based. I say This is a water-based paint, so uh, if you do make any spills or anything, you don't need to get any uh, methylated spirits or white spirit, you can just use water or even just a wet cloth just to wipe off any, uh, any mess. So let's see how well this goes on. camera angle but um, unfortunately there's a cupboard there and I'm here so this is the best we can do. There's a load of DIYers out there at the moment watching me doing this, cringing and thinking, what the hell is he doing? Well, let me tell you, I work with someone called Slap It On James, so by his standards, this is cream of the crop. Obviously when you're doing this make sure the central heating's off and not likely to come on for at least four hours. Just a little bit, so let's see if it lives up to its claims that it's water based and it comes off easy. Yep, yeah, comes off pretty easy. Keep all that just in case. Ok, 
Okay, so there we go. That's that uh, radiator patched up, I think. Don't think I've missed any bits. Uh, what I would say in hindsight is probably I would use the roller rather than a paintbrush or use a paintbrush and a roller, uh, like a gloss roller. To do that, I think it would have been a lot easier to do and possibly a better finish. So, but it's only undercoat, so better give that four hours to dry now. Although saying that, it is starting to feel quite tacky already, so I think it's going to dry quite quickly. Temperature in here at the moment is about 22 degrees, so hopefully you should be sort of touch dry in about an hour and fully cured in four hours. But we'll see how it goes and we'll see you back when we do the next part. Okay, so here we are back now. The, uh, the primer is dried on the radiator and we've covered up pretty much most of the bits that you need to cover up. And now it's time to start using the Johnson Speciality Paint for radiators. I've already loosened the lid because it was an absolute sob to get off, so don't be surprised if it doesn't come off very easily. I've made a right mess of that, look at that. It's been chewed by a dog. But anyway, here's the radiator. Got my paintbrush. So let's give Johnson's radiator paint a go and uh, see what it's like. I'm going to go around the other side so you can see what I'm doing. So the paint itself, again, uh, quite runny, pretty much like a gloss, but, but it's water-based, so it dries quickly, goes on easily, and you can clean up messes easily, which for me is a godsend because I'm a messy sod. So we've got probably the worst brush in the world to do it with. This is a, a one-inch brush, 25.4 millimeters to all you perfectionists. And I just washed it. So it's still a little bit damp. Right then, here we go. And actually, this feels a lot thicker than the primer, considerably thicker. A bit like canteen gravy. Now, the last time I did this radiator many moons ago was with uh, Hammerite's radiator paint which was a gloss based formula which was really nice and left quite a nice enamel finish on it but it went yellow really quickly and because of it being a gloss by the end of it I had to throw the brush away and I made a right mess on the floor and I spent ages chipping it off so hopefully this is going to be a little bit easier to use and manage It's going on quite nicely, quite smooth I guess with painting there's a right way and a wrong way, uh, but for me, I think as long as it looks nice when it's finished, however you get to that finish, well, it's up to you. And it goes without saying, obviously, if you're doing this, make sure your central heating is turned off and it says on the tin not to put it back on for at least four hours. So there we are, there's a good coating on there. So leave that for a while to dry. Have a quick look over and make sure there's no uh, runs, which there are going to be quite a few, I think. But luckily, this paint, because it, again, because it's water based, if you do make any mistakes, it's quite easy to go over them again and uh, it stays workable for a little while after you put it on. So it's pretty good. So we're going to leave this to dry for a little bit, let the brush strokes see if they'll come out. Obviously with gloss paints, normally brush strokes when you put them in, the paint kind of settles and produces a sheen at the end. Uh, hopefully I'll do the same with this, so that's it for now. We'll come back to this in a little while and see how it looks. So we've done things by the book. I've used the all surface primer to start with, and then we've used the radiator paint and we've left it to dry. And the overall result, to be honest with you, I'm pretty unimpressed with especially considering the prices of these. This one is about £15 and this one is about £8. So for so getting over £30 plus the time and effort to use it, the result actually hasn't been that great. There's some brush marks that show in it and there's definitely no um, rust prevention treatment within it because the rust that was there, although we got most of it off, it's actually started to bleed through already. So and that's only after 24 hours. So in my opinion, that's pretty poor. I expected a lot better than that. So, um, 
Unfortunately, this is a thumbs down for these two, so it looks like I have to either go back to the hammerite paint or sand it all down and make sure I get every single bit of rust off there, which I think is going to be virtually impossible. So it looks like I'm back to the hammerite. Anyway, this has been Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. This has been the Johnson Speciality paint for all surfaces and the Speciality paint for radiators, and I'm unimpressed. Thanks for watching.